Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides and I have a little bit of a classic treat for you. I am standing in front of this 1967 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. Now, back in the 60s, that's where really Chevrolet and Corvette was getting their stride with high performance. Remember, back in 1953, it only had a straight six. We're only talking about 160 horsepower. By the 1960s, these cars were putting out well over 300, 400 horsepower. So just an amazing, amazing car. What I really like about this car is I really love the side pipes. That's a feature that you just don't see anymore. And it was an extra option. So not all 67 Corvette Stingrays came with um, the side pipes. This car is featured in what's known as Sebring Silver. The reason why they called Sebring Silver is guess what? There's a racetrack here in Florida called Sebring where they race the 12 hour race and Corvettes won that race in their class for many years. So they decided to pay honor to the, those that track, to those wins with this car. Let's check out underneath the hood. If you look, we're looking at a 327. Now you had lots of different engine options back in the 60s. They ranged from the 327, 427, 350. This one is a nice balance for the street. You know, when you're running a 427, a lot of people don't realize there's a lot of heat. There's a lot of, it's not the same type of drivability. This is something that you could drive on a regular basis. And what I like about this car is it's not a trailer queen. You can see it's clean. You can see that the owner takes care of it, but you can see that the owner also drives it. There's a lot of originality here and that all gets lost once you restore a car. Once a car is restored, yeah, it looks like it's brand new, but unfortunately it's not like it was anymore. So this has the patina on it that I like to see in the older cars. And I think with the 327, um, you're gonna have a great power of balance. Let me go ahead and take you to the front here. There's, like I keep telling you, with a lot of these cars, there's a lot of styling cues. One thing I love about the front of the Corvettes is that you always have those styling cues. For many, many years, Corvettes had flip-up headlights. Dating from the 1960s with uh, the 1963 split window all the way to the 80s and into the 90s. Now, flip-up headlights are kind of like, uh, you know, an old styling feature. You don't see them anymore, but these are just really cool. When they flip up, you have four headlights, two on one side, two on the other. Another thing I love about the styling is I love the split bumper look. That was something that really cleaned up the look of the car. And you can see why they call this car a Stingray. It has that Stingray shape to it, like the animal. Let me show you something on the nose here. If you watch my video about the Grand Sport, you'll notice that Corvettes always have this traditional emblem. It's the checkered flag on one side with the red flag and the Chevrolet bow tie on the other side. This is something that is about heritage, about tradition. And that's why when you, when you drive a Corvette, you're not just driving a car, you're driving a piece of American history. And this is why the Corvette is, in my eyes, America's true sports car. It's been around since 1953. The only year they didn't make a Corvette was 1983, and they're still making them to this day. Let's go ahead and take a look at this side. Oh, thank you. The owner was nice enough to let me show you the inside. You can see here, these are styling cues you just don't get on your 2018 Corvette. We have this beautiful teakwood steering wheel, I love the instrumentation in these cars. It reminds me of an old fighter cockpit, the way they have the instrumentation, everything set up. You have, just like what I always like to see, a nice four-speed transmission. Now remember, back in the day, they didn't have cars with six-speed, seven-speed manual transmissions. You were lucky to have three. You know, the old styling was three on the tree. Um, that's how I learned how to drive a manual uh, in an old pickup truck was a three-speed on the column shaft. With that four speed, this was one of the best transmissions back then. That really is what makes it a driver's car. This is styling that is timeless and you're always gonna be, uh, you know, something that people are gonna look at, some, something that people are gonna admire. And that's what I love about these uh, Stingray Corvettes. The, this generation, I think, is probably one of the most favored of all the generations, even more so than the C1 and C2. So come around to the back here. There's that wonderful Corvette emblem uh, underneath the fuel door. We have the split bumper, and just like I've been telling you, see, the round taillights. That's something, like I said, 
that a lot of Corvette fans did not like about the 2014 Stingray when it came out was because they went with a little bit more squarish taillight. This definitely has those four taillights. Now I know you're probably saying, what makes a split window a split window? So this is the same body style as a split window Corvette. Split window came out in 1963 and it was only made in 1963. What they did was, is Chevrolet had lots of complaints of people who couldn't see out of the back window. So even though this has the same styling of the 63 split window, they just removed that piece to make it all glass so that people wouldn't complain anymore about the back windows. But like I keep saying, I am in love with this generation of Corvette and I really think that this is where Corvette, the father of the Corvette, Zora Duntuck, really was doing their work to get the performance to get the drivability and when you drive a car like this you're driving a piece of american history so i want to thank you guys for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more classic cars leave a comment in the comment section if you have something that you want featured on radies rides leave a comment visit my website radiesrides.com and just like always i'll see you guys on the next ride